Ghana Armed Forces. We will continue to stay true to the pledges we made in the 2016 manifesto that brought my party, the New Patriotic Party, and I into office. In addition to others, we increased the United Nations peacekeeping troops contribution allowances from $30 to $35 per soldier per day. We clear the outstanding arrears of 13 million United States dollars for all peacekeeping personnel. We are now paying your allowances at the place of operations as you wish. We have also settled the 11.1% of arrears due to the civilian employees in effect a 10% upward salary review for all personnel. The completion of the third phase of the 37 military hospital is on course, and we're also completing the 500-bed military hospital in the Ashanti region, and we'll begin the third phase of this project soon. Work is ongoing on the barracks regeneration projects with the four blocks of 16 flats each, between 60 to 75 percent complete. Nearly a month ago, in fulfillment of an October 2018 pledge, I presented 50 Ankai buses, 40 Toyota Land Cruiser hard body vehicles, and 50 Toyota Hilux pickups, which form part of the first tranche of 140 staff and operational vehicles of various categories to the armed forces. So you know, when I make a promise, I deliver on it. During the year, we will provide the Army with 30 Otoka armed personnel carriers and six fast patrol boats for the Navy. We're also making systematic efforts to protect our offshore hydrocarbon assets, now of great value, by establishing a forward operating base at Enzulebu in the western region for their protection. Construction of the base will begin this year. With respect to the Air Force, as you have heard from the Minister for Defense, two of the M117 helicopters have been sent for overhauling. One has returned and the other will be in the jurisdiction shortly. Funds have been released to extend the flying hours for the third helicopter. Similarly, when we took office, all three of the CASA C-295 transport aircrafts had broken down. We have fixed one of them, and the remaining two have been sent out of the country for overhauling. One is due back in the country next month, and the other in October. I assure you that the government will not relent 
in its efforts at transforming the Ghana Armed Forces into a formidable force and will continue to help enhance the capacity and capabilities of the armed forces towards the development of our nation.